Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. Mason, we don't know enough about Avatar, right? What? We're getting second Avatar. Oh. Hello, look around. It's all wet now. <laughs> and I don't remember anything about it, How right? How it get so wet around here? The way of water, the bloody way of... Um, now I've got to call a bloody plumber. That's great, Mason. Thank That's really you. good stuff. So what I've done, mm -hmm. and I think this is to the benefit of not only us, but the people watching this, uh -huh. I've got a quiz here from zoo.com. The lads mag? Is that what Zoo is? I guess it is. Huh. Yeah. That's still around. So listen, I feel like this is going to get us up to speed, all of us. Oh, and people play along with us. See if you know more about Avatar than us. You probably do. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, There'll yeah. be some Avatar super fans. I think so. Watching along. Great. So look, I'm not expecting a big score here. Okay. Mate, so we, you and I doing this together. This yeah, is yeah, one yeah. of those horrible videos <laughs> where you have all the answers and you're like, no. oh, matey, what you mean with me? I don't have And any... I go, oh, I don't know, James. <laughs> I'll just try my best to answer this. And you're like, no, you're stupid. I've tricked you. <laughs> It's, it's I'm not, a bad person. Not, I'm a bad bit of boy. It's not, not that. Okay, no, great. no, we both have this. We okay, both don't right. know. Okay. Okay. Question one of 35 ish. Jake Sully. Uh, well, who was the director of Avatar? No. Steven Spielberg, Martin Scorsese, James Cameron, Quentin Tarantino. I think we know the answer to that one. I think it's James Cameron. Uh, there's also additional information if you need it for the for each answer. Oh, the sure, answer. sure, sure. Okay. What is the name of the language created for Avatar? Sim A, Na V, Na Nu, V Na. Oh, God. Well, the, the race is called the Na'vi. But that would be like if you're a human and you speak human. Human, mm, right? Yeah, but I could see like humans going to another place and being like, you're this and you speak this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So is it Na'vi? Uh, no? All right, let's do it. Yes. The answer is Na'vi. The Na'vi language is created totally from scratch by linguist Dr. Paul R. Frommer. Now, you've got to remember this because we're going to do a second quiz at the end. Oh, what? <laughs> no. <but> okay. <laughs> this is easy. What year was the original release of Avatar supposed to... Oh, no, this isn't easy. What year <laughs> was the original release of Avatar supposed to be? Okay, so it actually came out in 2009, yeah, right? but was it 99? Was it supposed Ooh. to come out in 1999, okay. 2001, 2005, 96? I don't think it's... It can't be 96. It can't be pre... 2000s. No. I can't see it coming out in 2001, like pre-Gollum. James Cameron's on the forefront of all that stuff. Maybe he just thought he could do it. But think about the, you know, the delays and such and waiting for technology. I don't think any of the technology for this was ready. Mm. Anywhere near being ready in 2001. I, I reckon it's 2005. Okay, let's click that then. It was 99. Whoa. <laughs> James Cameron was this uh, who is notoriously known for exceeding budgets of his films. Blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> he wanted to have it done by 99, but the special effects weren't there. That cannot be true. Well, There's no way he thought that. Are could... you calling zoo.com a liar? Yes. Famous lads mag or <laughs> the zoo? <laughs> what movie did James Cameron see that convinced him CGI effects were ready to make Avatar? The Perfect Storm or Big Wave? The big Wave. I, Robot. Ooh, Robots. Bad Robots. Uh, the Day After Tomorrow. Ooh, maybe another Big Wave. I, I haven't yeah, seen yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or the Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. That's the Gollum one, right? That is the Gollum. I think it be that one. I don't think he'd watch iRobot, but I think he would watch The Perfect Storm. Yeah, but there's nothing in that that says, oh, CGI people are ready to go. George Clooney says, hey, CGI people are ready to go. <laughs> Just <laughs> as, a throwaway line. As the boat sets and off. And he's waving, To yes. go into The Perfect Storm. That's right, yes. Anyway, I think it's Lord of the Rings. Okay, Two let's click that then. All right. Yes. Okay, all right. Et cetera, et cetera, Gollum, whatever. How would Jake's lead character? Not true. Yeah, Jake Sully. I thought you said Howard Jakes. <laughs> okay, no. What are you saying? How were Jake's atrophied legs made? Oh. So he's paraplegic, right. if you remember. Yeah, right. Was it prosthetics of his own legs manipulated, false recreations of fake prosthetics, prosthetic casts from a real paraplegic CGI effects? Well, knowing oh. James Cameron Mason, but he does like a blender practical. Well, that's true, but obviously, uh, as, as we know in, in uh, I believe, in Terminator 2. Judgment Day. Yes, he, for the, for the scenes where the T-1000 is missing limbs, he, he got real actors who are missing limbs. That's true, yeah. So that, that leans towards one of those, certainly. Mm, I still um, think it's CGI. I remember a scene where he's like picked up and put in his chair and you see he's got his legs. Anyway, I'm going to click CGI okay. effects. No, it was prosthetics. Huh. So where did he sit in we the chair? We were both wrong, but I was more right, I That's, think. Yeah. Where did he sit in the chair? It says his real legs were tucked into the wheelchair and then digitally removed in post-production. Oh, huh. well, there you go. I learned something. I mean, I mean I'm learning a lot. And you're not going to retain any of that. But it's no, no, there's a quiz the afterwards. That wasn't oh, a joke. Okay, terrific. What percentage of the movie is live action? 60%, 30%, 70%, 40%. I reckon 30% is live action. 
what includes like is it if there is a one live action person in the scene does that count as live action that's a great question yeah. right or is it just if everything in the scene is live action because almost nothing yeah then I would say closer to that first thing you said yeah. but even then all I remember this movie is like the jungle and people mm. running about okay blue people yes yes now before we answer this question we've got to remember of course that no matter what answer we put in ultimately it's meaningless yes so we can really do anything okay so we're so free we've freed your mind a la the matrix you're welcome. just now you're very welcome we've given you the the blue pill but in this case it's an avatar blue pill that's right which is the good one in this case it's got a tail yeah 30 percent goes down real weird <laughs> 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 wait hang on uh yeah let's go with 30 percent 40%. 40%. Damn it. The I knew as soon as I said it, it yeah, was 40%. Yeah, the movie had 40% live action because the 60% was able to reproduce photorealistic. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, yes, yes. I think they're including there just any scene with a, yeah, with you a, might live, be right, yeah. with a live person in it. Yeah. Where did James Cameron take the crew to prepare for the film? Jake Hawa- Sully. Hawaii. Island. New Zealand. <laughs> okay. Thailand. Okay. The Philippines. Those are all great holiday destinations. I mean, it sounds like Hawaii, but I've, I've been I've been consistently wrong on these. So, uh-huh. what do you think? I reckon not New Zealand. You think Thailand? But wasn't this filmed in New Zealand? Was it? Some of it was. I'm pretty sure a lot of it was. But I'm why, so he, what you're saying is he he went to he took them to New Zealand, gave give them a feel for Avatar, and then he took them to New Zealand. No, no, I'm saying they filmed it in New Zealand yes. using all the weather workshop stuff uh-huh. and whatever, yeah, right. and then they would have gone to either Thailand or the Philippines because that's closer. Maybe closer mm. than Hawaii? I think it's Hawaii. All right, let's do Hawaii. It is Hawaii. Yeah. God, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> it just felt like Hawaii. Yeah. Which human feature... Jake did, Sully. ...did James Cameron insist uh. the Na'vi people have? Eyelashes, breasts, hands, a human-like physique. Wow. I mean, they've got all of those things, don't they? Yes, but which one did he absolutely insist he on? Insisted. Which one is, I will not cave on this. What, are eyelashes? Yeah. I, I think with eyelashes, uh-huh. I think it would give that sense of like, you're actually looking at something yeah, that's for real. Sure. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Where if yeah. it was eyelashless, you'd be like, what is this Darth Vader? Exactly, and I think he'd be like, well, they're going to get all sorts of gunk in their eyes. Yeah, it was breasts. Well, all right. <laughs> oh, we forgot he's also a perv. <laughs> Despite the fact that the Na'vi are not placental mammals, James Cameron insisted from the beginning that they should have breasts. Huh. Insisted that they she... lay eggs. He... Is this real? I mean, this is Zoo Magazine. Is this real? But look, he insisted that this is so she would look hot from a human's point of view. Oh dear. This, in his opinion, was crucial to the success and acceptance of the movie as a whole. All right. Great. <laughs> what other story features the concept of a network of trees? Harry Potter. The Navajo Jungle series, uh, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe series, the Ender series. I think it's the Ender. I'm pretty sure. Well, like Ender's Ender. Game. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that in space? Yeah, but there's like ants and trees and stuff. I think in space. I don't fucking know, but yes. What are you basing this on? I'm gonna click it. Okay. Yep, it's right. The concept wow. of network of trees in the mind of the deceased continues to exist appears in several novels of Ender. Well, jokes on you. I was going to agree with you eventually. No, you weren't. No, it's true. <laughs> what other films had Sigourney Weaver been in by James Cameron? Titanic. No. Aliens, Perfect Storm, Big Wave, Sanctum. Well, if we are only picking one, I'm going to go with Aliens. I agree, and you're correct. Mm-hmm. Wow. How many fingers do the Navi have? Four, six, three, five. Now, I know that the human recreations of Navi have the human amount of fingers. Okay. But are I we including the thumb? Yeah, but I can't remember what the Navi have. I want to say four. I think it might be four. I don't know. I don't that. think it's six. Six would be weird. But six would be unpleasant. No, like but the a animals spine. have like six legs. Oh. So it could be six. Oh. And they have boobs. I don't know what that well, that's means. That's true. <laughs> for authenticity. <laughs> yeah. To be sexy to men. be sexy. Yeah. It is for. Yeah. Where did James Cameron get his idea for the film Avatar? He fell in the water. 2009. He fell into, into a forest. No, and he didn't fall into a forest. Uh. Aladdin, The Labyrinth, Pocahontas, <laughs> Aliens. I mean, I'm guessing Pocahontas, right? Yeah, but that's what people say, don't they? But the people, labyrinth? People are always like, it's just Pocahontas. It's just um, bloody, bloody uh, Fern Gully or whatever. I accidentally clicked on Aladdin. You say, what are you saying there? It's A L L A D I N. So Aladdin. No, but, they've said Aladdin. Okay, sure. Right. And it is Pocahontas. Oh, okay, right. And he got the idea after watching Pocahontas. Wow. Then. So he got the idea for a movie where the narrative is Pocahontas <laughs> by watching Pocahontas. Wow. All right. Really good. Pretty direct. Mason, what do the Navi do while mating? Jake Sully. <laughs> link their ponytails, link <laughs> their bodies, link their hands, link their minds. Oh, well, in a way they do that one, but I think physically they mean the first one. I think physically you're right. Mm. That's right. Uh, who was Sigourney Weaver imitating Jane in her botanist oh. role in the film? Jane Fonda, Pocahontas, James Cameron, Jane Goodall. 
Presumably it's Jane Goodall. Yes. With, because of the monkeys things that That's she did. That's right. Her famous book, Those Monkey Things That I Did. It was James Cameron. Huh. 23 years after shooting Alien, Sigourney Weaver finally appeared in another James Cameron film. She commented that on the screen she was just channeling James Cameron himself and wanted to play an idealistic perfectionist with a great heart underneath. Oh. Wow. What, wow. A, what, a, what a backhanded compliment. <laughs> hey, James, can I be in your next movie? And I'll just be a big turd. But underneath I'm nice. Yeah, yeah. You won't see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You should direct the next emoji movie and I'll be the big turd. <laughs> what other males were considered Jake for Sully? For, considered for the lead? Oh. Jake Gyllenhaal, Brad Pitt, Chris Pratt, Ben Affleck. We know he offered it to Matt Damon plus like 10% of the, the take Did he? Yeah, and Matt Damon wow. turned it down. Okay. Uh, well, he's got all that crypto money. He doesn't need it. Yeah, that's right. I think it's too early for Chris Pratt. I think it's too early for Chris Pratt as well, yeah. And Affleck sounds like a misdirect if you if that thing about Matt Damon is true. Oh, Pitt's too big for the role. All right, let's do Gyllenhaal then. No? All right. Yes. Nice, all right. You know what? Also, not a big enough name that Cameron couldn't push him around. That's true. Not that Cameron can't push around anybody. He pushed around Schwarzenegger. So. That's, that's uh, He certainly did. Where did the design of the Navi come from? A dream James Cameron had. Uh-oh. James Cameron's wife. Which one? James Just Cam- Pocahontas again. <laughs> James Cameron's mother, a previous actor who worked for Cameron. I'm going to say dream. He talks about, recently he was like, my brain is a streaming service and your brain sucks. <laughs> and so do streaming services. Wow. But every night my brain plays movies to me. Wow. I think it's that one. Okay. No, it was James Cameron's mother. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. <laughs> who, audi- who originally auditioned the for the- The tables b- have turned in a way. <laughs> yeah, Even though we're working together, I feel like it's turned it on you. I agree. Yeah. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. Hey, whoever's editing this, put up a thing that says how many <laughs> things James has got wrong. <laughs> Even if you haven't been doing it to this point, just put out uh, put up how many a number of how many questions James has got wrong. <laughs> Who originally auditioned for the role of Jack Sully? Yep, Chris Ooh. Pratt, Matt Damon, Heath Ledger, Andrew Pierce. Don't know who that last one wow, is. Wow. Okay. Well, I don't, again, I think it's too early for Pratt. Yep. I think this person's just got Pratt on the brain. Let's say Matt Damon. Yeah. No, nah, it was Chris Pratt. What? <laughs> Chris said that this was a particularly tough audition and almost caused him to quit acting. Wow. What is the name of Navi Land? Quatara, Pondor, Pondon, Pondona, Pandora, Locura, it's Pandora. It is Pandora, that's right. Like the necklaces. Mm-hmm. Which, what character from... <laughs> Which what? <laughs> what character from Aliens was not allowed an avatar? Sorry, what? What character from Aliens was not allowed an avatar? The alien. Alan Ripley, Michael Bean, Private Vasquez, Rebecca Jordan. Some of those are characters and some, some of those of are actors. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know what this is. Unless it's Michael Bean... But he's a man. I know he's a man. What is it? So, but it says they're not allowed. They weren't allowed in it. They said Aladdin before, so yeah. No, that's true. This could. This question could mean anything. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it'd be Ripley because why would Sigourney Weaver be Ripley and yeah the other lady also Ripley? No. Let's do Michael Bean. Let's do Michael Bean. Yeah. Michael Bean was considered for the role of Miles Quatrich in the film. After meeting with Cameron three times and seeing some of the footage, Cameron decided not to have him in the film because he didn't want viewers to think it was aliens all over again. That's what I thought. I thought it's Michael an actor. Bain, yeah, I thought Michael Bean had something to do with this. What is the name of the female lead actress? Zoe Saldana, Jessica Biel, Rashida Jones, Anna Faris. That first one. That's right. What was the estimated cost of Avatar? Two hundred million, three hundred twenty million, seven hundred million, two hundred eighty million. Two hundred million, right? No, that was Titanic. Oh so yeah. I think it'd be more. I don't well, think it's seven hundred million. I think no, that's too much money. It would be three twenty or two eighty, and it's emerging technology. That's true. And the new one's apparently four hundred. Yeah. So two eighty. Yeah. yeah. Let's go with two eighty. All right. It is nice. It's the alleged budget. Oh my god! Terrible news. Did you know that you're vulnerable to cyber attacks on the online internet? Shocking, I know, and I hate to be the one to tell you. Now this might present as, say, like, a man in the middle attack. And this is where you're in a new place, a new location, and you go to connect to something that says free Wi-Fi. But it's actually a trick, because when you connect it, some creep on the other end is all, Heh heh heh, we gotcha, I've got all your data, heh 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 heh. You see hacking nowadays. Most of the everyday stuff that you see, it's quite simple, but incredibly effective. Like, for example, what happens via credential stuffing. So if you, for example, use your normal email address and password, which for example might be, oh, I don't know, Mason loves Fox Maid Marion. If you've used that on a website and that website is not maintained properly and gets compromised, that means your username and password will more than likely end up on the deep web or hacker forums alongside thousands of other user credentials. And then from there, if you haven't been careful, all of that can be used to access your other accounts. I'm talking streaming services, Zoom, MSN Messenger, Amazon and eBay Shopping, ICQ, your online banking, the Facebook, 
etc. and so forth. Now, what would be the point of me telling you all this without a way that you could fight back? So here it is. It's called NordVPN. They've made it easier and safer to navigate the internet through the click of a button, making all of these problems vanish. You don't even need to worry about it. But there are other benefits also. It protects you from malicious sites, downloads, trackers, and intrusive ads, and it also has a strict no-logs policy. So that means they don't track, collect, or share your private data. They consider all of that none of their business. Now, the advantages aren't just protection from hackers. I mean, that would be plenty. That would be enough. But you can also watch shows on streaming services that aren't available in your region or even engage in peer-to-peer -peer sharing anonymously or with some of the best internet speeds that you will find on any VPN service. And believe me, I've used a few, maybe even all of them. So take control of your internet experience today with NordVPN. Right now, you can get a two-year plan at a huge discount, plus four additional months for free when you go to nordvpn.com slash Movies. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. That's nordvpn.com slash Movies, or just click on the link in the description below. Let's get back to Avatar. Ah, boo. What year does the movie presumably take place in? The future. Mm, 2030, okay. 2054, okay. 3000, mm -hmm. 220. It would be one of the What's ones. What's that last one? 220. Two, the year 220. <laughs> two, 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 sorry, the year 2200. I think the 2030 is too early. I think 2154 sounds like, oh, sci fi. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Yes. How much did Avatar gross at the box office? One billion, three point three billion, two point three billion, one point eight billion. You're the box office boy. It's two. They 2. call 3? you Mr. Box Office. They don't call me that. I think it's two. no. It was one point eight. I was well, wrong. I mean, this, I was this, wrong. This was probably made years ago. This quiz. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's made that now. Yeah, I think it's made more it's had now. Some re -releases no, you're so right. Forth. Yeah, mm. that's not our fault. No, that's not our fault. I'm the box office boy. That's right. And I will continue to be. Mm -hmm. What were the promotional items shipped to cinemas called? Project 2154, Project Pandora, Project 880, Project Ava. Okay. Well, we just got that 2154 a month yeah. ago that's the year. But that feels like somebody wrote this quiz and just like yeah, slapped yeah, that Yeah, yeah, Project Pandora. What are the yeah, others? Yeah, let's do that one. Oh, I did Project Pandora. It's wrong. Project 880. And it was shipped to the UK in two parts. Wow. Before and after Brexit. <laughs> what were the names? What were the original names? Oh, we'll, we'll get this. Of Natiri and Jake. Zalika and Josh. Okay. Sonora and Sully. Naturina and Josh, Zahura and Justin. I don't care, is my answer there. I can't see a Justin. Justin, come save me. <laughs> Justin. Juzzy. I love you, Juzzy. I don't know. Sonora and Sully? Yeah, okay. But then Sully's also like Monsters, Inc. Oh. Well, there's two Joshes here. But it, Cameron doesn't know Monsters, Inc. Someone would have to tell him. He saw Pocahontas. Yeah. I'm going to say Zelinka. Okay, I don't Whatever think that's that is. Right. Yeah, it is. Oh. Wow. I feel really good about that one. Okay, <laughs> great. Where was Sam Worthington living at the time he auditioned? His parents, homeless, his girlfriends, his car. You know, actors are always like, I was in my car. Yeah, yeah, And I was yeah. in the biggest movie in the world, and you could do it too. Guess what, That's you right. can't. I didn't even want to be an actor. I just showed up, and I was so rough and cool and tough that they let me... He did spit on the camera, apparently, and was wow. like, I'm too, oh, I've am too. i had enough of this shit, and James wow. Cameron was like, this acting he's doing is good. Wow. Yeah, anyway, I think he was in his car. No, girlfriends. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> Girlfriend? Yeah. No, he was in his car. You're wrong. Whoa. I got that one right. Wow. How long did this movie take to make? Eight years, 12 years, two years, four years. Well, if you wanted to release it in 99, yeah. presumably 12 years? That's right. Let's check. Titanic came out in 97, so... Mm. No, it was four years. Okay, great. Great. So how was he going to release it in 90... Fuck you! Because it was he doing ocean? Was he doing ocean expeditions? Maybe. I fucking hate losing, Mason. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I like it when I know. This. Some yeah. of us take it. Some of us take it in stride with good humor. Because you're used to it. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Why were the Navi people blue? Blue is likable. It represents traditional depictions of the Hindu god. Blue is the easiest to manipulate in CGI. Blue was the most believable color. Blue is very difficult, especially if you're doing like a blue screen or a green screen or whatever. But they weren't. Tough stuff. They wouldn't have been doing a, a green or blue screen to film the Navi because they're entirely CGI. I see. I don't know. Traditional Hindu god thing? Sure. I got it right. Nice. And that confirms to me that I do know what I'm doing. And That's I'm great. terrific. <laughs> you're going on a real roller coaster here. <laughs> oh, what am I doing with my life? I don't even deserve to make a video about doing a quiz on the internet. Oh, no, I'm okay now. I'm fine, actually. How long did each frame in the film take to prepare post-production? 72 hours, 29 hours, 64 hours, 47 hours. These are very dry questions. Boy, are they. Oh, say. wow. Um, 72? No, is that too long? Mm. I'm going to click it. Nah, it was 47. Who knew? Fuck, that's crazy. <laughs> also, then we've had to average that out. There's no technicians going, this will take exactly 47 hours. <laughs> Where is Sam Worthington from? England, America, Australia, New Zealand. 
Is this a trick? He's from Australia, New Zealand. Yeah, is it a trick? I'm I gonna think click he's from Austra- Australia. He's from England! He what? was born in England! Oh my God. Fuck, I knew that was a trick. What animal- How many more questions are there? Four. Okay, great. What animal- <laughs> I don't know if I'll have time. What animals made the predator sounds in the film? Wolves, hyenas, cheetahs, dogs. Hyenas? Yep, it was. Yes. How many films are there anticipated to be made in total? I think five? there's five, right? Yeah. Like the fingers of a Navi, but the human right. version. Mm-hmm. Uh, what does Avatar mean? Godly, magical, alien, divinity. Just burn through these now. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Godly? Well, an Avatar is a is an aspect of a god. That's what I said. Maybe divinity? Sure, let's do it. Yes. Yeah. You've done it, Mason. That's right. Two left. Except for the Navi and humans, how many limbs do the animals in Pandora, Pandora have? Six. I said it earlier, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, no, you didn't. I thought of it and I knew it. <laughs> no, 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 no. And last question. Yes. Who composed the music for James the film? James Horner. Wait, no. James Horner, Harris, Harris Zimmer. Harris Zimmer. John Williams. Ennio Morricone. Okay. I don't know. Is it James Horner? He sure, did Titanic, right? Yeah, it did. Wow. Okay. Finish the quiz. Let's find out what we got. You're the best at Avatar questions. We got 21 out of 35. Better luck next time. How dare you? There That's, won't be a next time. No. Very presumptuous zoo. There's a share on Facebook button. Should I click it? Yeah, share it to Facebook. <laughs> yeah, great. Anyways, if you like this, no. <laughs> Never doing this again. No, I hated it. <laughs> uh, but if you do want to see uh, videos early on this channel or you do want to uh, listen to any of our bonus podcasts or movie commentaries, head over to Big Sandwich. Co, where for $9 a month there's a huge back catalogue of exclusive stuff there or just listen to our podcast The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows Mason it's free or do a big subscribe we'll be doing an Avatar episode maybe it's already out maybe it's already out we're currently doing a James Cameronathon, That's Cameron right. Garbage or whatever mm-hmm. anyways great I, I feel ready for the movie Avatar 2 me now. too yeah. <laughs> just knowing how many hours it took to render every frame of the last one gets really gets me in the mood makes me feel connected with nature knowing you know? Sam Worthington was born in England Knowing they went to Hawaii. These are all good oh, things. Oh, great stuff. Thanks, Zoo Magazine slash the actual zoo. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Grab that jam, you guys. We'll see you at the zoo.